Check one, two. Check one, two. It's Chris Krug. What's up, internet? Welcome to my little truck pod that I've been doing here lately. I'm just here on Hornby Island and I'm driving into the studio at the Hornby Spark Makerspace where I work. And um, yeah, you may notice that I'm not holding the mic today and I sometimes have two hands on the wheel. I've been getting a lot of interesting feedback about this little video blog here. I may be stuck with this fucking truck format forever. People are liking it. I guess it's a bit of a breath of fresh air. Though I do want to build a little a podcasting and video blogging studio at my new place in Vancouver once I get over there. Um, but as for the microphone, uh, audio quality has definitely been up lately. But... Uh, I had been holding it to my face until today when I taped it on my chest. And uh, someone yesterday said, oh, I like the way you hold the little microphone with your pinkies up all the time. It gives a real feminine feel to the podcast or a little bit of a feminine feel to the podcast, maybe. I don't know. I thought that was interesting. And then uh, today, uh, Trish, Patricia Parkinson called and gave me some great feedback about what I'm doing here. And uh, she was like, and for God's sake, please put the microphone on your chest. We're afraid that for your life. Which is fair. If you could see where I was driving right now, you'd be less afraid. I'm on a, a dirt road and uh, the main danger around here is potholes. Oh, uh, Trish, she works for Bernie Man, the organization, and she watched my Bernie Man video from a couple days ago talking about the art projects that I've built down there and stuff. And she said, oh, I really loved the narrative and I like you telling these stories and getting them out there. I didn't know that stuff. And, uh, hey, may I offer you some constructive criticism? And uh, at first I snapped back. I said, Trish, I haven't heard from you forever. Uh, how about you be nice to me before you burn it all down or whatever. And she's like, no, I'm trying to help here. And so I invited her to share and she said, you mentioned a couple times in this video, like share this with your peeps and that you're trying to build an audience and stuff. And I want to know more about that. Why are you doing that? Why are you asking me that? I'm interested and able, but I want to know more. And, uh, and it got me thinking, it got me thinking about specifically what I have been asking for and why. And uh, I may entitle this podcast learning out loud <laughs> or something like that, but my reply to Trish was, yo, I think I've got a unique perspective on art and future tech and alternative living. And I've been living this patchwork quilt of creative, awesome lifestyle for going on like almost two decades now. And people tell me all the time that the stuff that I'm up to inspires them or reaches them where they're at or moves them in some way. And and so I'm trying to share that and I'm trying to get it out there and I'm trying to build a place where I can share my unique thoughts and perspective on the world and then coalesce community around all of that. I told her, it's not for your grandma, it's for other artists or creatives or designers or musicians or entrepreneurs or academics, people with ideas who want to find their voice and figure out how to use these tools and how to get this stuff out there into the world in a way that helps them like further their dreams and purpose. And the reason I'm calling it learn out loud a little bit is because a lot of what I'm talking about at Sharon is my personal learning and growth journey around AI and personal brand and online publishing, podcasting, video blogging. And so a lot of times I'm talking about, you know, I started an email newsletter yesterday and it, unlike my day job where I use MailChimp, I'm trying something new. I tried Beehive and this is why I think Beehive's cooler than MailChimp. And this is how I set up my list and how I pulled it together and my approach to it. And here's how I'm using the video blog and the podcast to dovetail into the blog and using those blog posts to dovetail into the newsletter and hopefully build a bit of a marketing automation content engine for lack of a better word and so i'm just pulling at the threads that interest me the most and 
trying to share those experiments with people. I really do love your feedback. Trish, thank you. Your one constructive criticism is worth a thousand nice compliments. And this episode here today is really a result of that conversation. I appreciate it. I really have put myself out there with stories and I try to be vulnerable and ask for help. And, uh, and also, I'm not just doing this for my own self. You'll see in the last couple of things that I've been doing, there's always a community shout out section. The community shout out section for the next newsletter is already full. It's been the first thing that's already done. And this is a chance where I can use this platform to share the love and light all around to different people's projects and companies and the things that my friends and the folks in my network are getting up to. Uh, I love to hear from you. I'm going to set up one of those call-in lines where you can call in and leave a video message or a, a voice message, and then I will include that in the podcast. But if you've got something interesting you're working on, please do consider sharing with me, giving me a briefing. I've got a bunch of slots open in the next few weeks for podcast guests. I'm going to be doing one with Trish, who I keep mentioning, Patricia Parkinson from Montreal tomorrow. And I got one with Dave Olson from Japan coming up here in the next little bit. And I scheduled one or two other ones. I think that really pretty much covers what I wanted to chat about here today. Yeah, if you feel me, if you are into what I'm up to, please do consider sharing it around. Give it some comments. The poll rating and reviewing thing on the podcast is super helpful. And in the next day or two, I'm going to be launching like a, a referral program through my newsletter where by referring the newsletter to other people, you can earn like perks and rewards. I've made some stickers and uh, I'll probably make some other cool shit, maybe with my face on it. I guess I got one little final tidbit. I'll tack onto this thing here today. A lot of you guys know I've been messing with Mid Journey on Discord. That's the really cool. Uh, text to image generation software, I've done all sorts of stuff with it. Uh, one of the cool features that I've been messing with lately is this new plugin for it called Insight Base Swap. And I've been messing with this for like over a month. My buddy Christopher Ross Christopher showed it to me and made some cool images of my face way back when. He was one of the first guys I saw swapping faces onto mid-journey generations in a really cool and realistic way. But the tool has advanced. He was doing it pretty manually. So now there's just like a little drop-down button that says swap the face in of the photo that you've loaded up. So I went through this morning and generated a bunch of handsome bearded gold tooth space pirates and then started to swap my face onto them and stuff. And so that, that's pretty fun and super useful for all sorts of like fun creative things like swapping your face onto art or swapping other people's face onto you or uh, the possibilities are really a lot so yeah check out the sketchbook on my discord server if you're not a member of the discord server already hit me up if we've met or i know you i'll welcome you on in yeah that's about it. I drove past the studio. I drove past my coffee place, the gas station, and uh, I'm going to double back. So thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'm really feeling the love and support. So over and out from Hornby Island. <laughs>